You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. My name is Shane. Uh, I'm the founder of AmpSlide. What we are is a live sharing tool for presentation. Uh, I worked for Yahoo for a number of years, and one of my last roles, um, I really manage the product marketing and the business development aspect of our department. And so I had a lot of opportunities to go to conferences and speak in front of potential customers and agencies to really try to sell Yahoo's advertising products. And one of the frustrations I had uh, in going to these conferences was our goal was to, of course, hopefully get leads and get customers at these conferences. And unfortunately, how presentations are made uh, or given over the last, what, 50 years, 100 years, really hasn't changed much since. It's always been what we call kind of unidirectional. The speaker stands on stage and presents, whether it be back in the old days, flip charts and projectors, to now, you know, slides. And so there's no interactivity or the ability for the audience to really engage with those slides that's being presented. So it's always been a kind of a one way. And that I found to be, I think, both as an audience person in many conferences and also as a speaker, I think that's you're missing an opportunity. Our, our conversion rates, frankly, were very, very poor. And I think part of that reason is because our inside sales guys were not at the conference. They weren't the ones speaking to the audience. So they had no idea who these people are and whether the level of interest was there, et cetera. Um, I might have seen them, obviously, at the conference. I knew there was engagement. I know people were interested, asking questions, come up to me afterwards. Um, but that data, you know, that kind of data is not captured. And again, I, I blame that a lot on the traditional way of presentation. Yes. There's got to be a better solution to both engage with the audience and then let the audience participate. And so if we can understand that level of participation, that level of engagement, where if people were already, for example, taking off their phones and taking pictures of slides or they were raising their hands, et cetera, asking questions, if we can capture some of those types of behaviors that the audience already have and then have that information, then give it back to our inside sales guys, et cetera, or even, even myself to know exactly who that person was uh, that asked those questions or that uh, uh, wanted to maybe share the slide to their network, et cetera. If I have that information, it will make my conversation follow-ups so much better um, with that particular person uh, in the audience. Yeah. And so, so how AmpSlide came about, I already explained earlier, um, sort of who the, I would say, the key stakeholders are in sort of the product and what it needs to be solved. So obviously, the speaker is the main person. Um, so from one side, what the speaker needs and wants. And so definitely that's coming from my personal experience and talking to, of course, other marketers and other salespeople, listening to them, what they might want in terms of uh, speaker needs. Um, and then secondly, of course, a very important part is, of course, the audience. So looking at what the audience might need, because in order to make AmpSlide uh, be a product that both sides want to use, the audience has to be motivated enough to actually go to AmpSlide.com and, and pull up the, the presentation. So understanding what the audience would like to get out of it. Um, and so live sharing is definitely one of the key things that came out of sort of understanding what are the audience's needs, right? And it actually very well, fits very well in terms of that engagement because if, if the audience that actually has a slide in front of them with the live sharing capability, then the speaker, uh, you know, what is the need for, what is the benefit from that? Well, the audience now can see the slides up close, and that's potentially very powerful in terms of, I'm sure all of us have sat in the back of a big room at a conference, and you might not be able to see the slides. And so that's kind of the first step. And then when you st start learning more about what audiences need and thinking about what are typical audiences' behaviors, and if they had been given the opportunity to actually have the slides in front of them, either on their mobile phone or tablet or even a laptop, what can that do? So you think about what the dynamic is. If now an audience has that opportunity or that ability to have the slides in front of them, what else can you do? And so thinking about that, like, 
well, if they can add the slides, what if they can actually interact with the slides, right? Would be the second thing, like would that add more value for an audience person, right? So currently AmpSlide, we also convert just uh, from your original PowerPoint keynote, your embedded links. And so now you think about the links, there's a whole different way of thinking. Instead of the links just working for the speaker, if the speakers embed the links, now the audience actually have an opportunity to call to actions. So now you think about the slides as very much the person in the audience now is actually kind of looking like a website where just like in any website, you can click, click on hyperlinks. So as a speaker and a marketer, you think about potentially what that means and what that power of sort of putting that ability into the hands of the audience.